So between my two sides, I've got X, which is the shorter side across from the smaller angle 30. And I've got the radical 3X, which is the longer side across from my larger angle, which is 60 degrees. I want to use this to solve this next triangle. In this next triangle, we've got a side of length 8. And that side of length 8 happens to be across from the 30 degree angle, which means it's the shorter side. So that means that 8 is equal to x and I know that my longer side is going to be the square root of 3 times x. My hypotenuse using that template is going to be 2x. Well I know what x is equal to so I can go ahead and put in each of my values. Let me erase the x's that I've got and I'm going to replace each of those x's with an 8. So I get 2 times 8 radical 3 times 8 and I can clean those up just a little bit so I've got 16 on the hypotenuse. Let's write that 8 first and I've got 8 radical 3 on the other leg. On this next one, I've got 12 as my known value. This is my hypotenuse, so I know that 12 is equal to 2x. The side opposite 30 is x, and the side opposite 60 is going to be my square root of 3 times x. Let's go ahead and pick up that 2x equals 12, and that's going to find x for me. So if 2x is equal to 12 and I divide by 2, that means that x is equal to 6. So I can go back up to everywhere where I've got an x there and I can replace those with a 6. So I've got a 6 there and a 6 there and the sides of my triangle are the 12 that I was given. I'm going to write this next side in order so the 6 comes first. I've got 6 radical 3 and a 6. You are doing fantastic. I've got another video for you here.